A very good evening aspirants. Welcome to reflection video of Shankar IAS Academy. Since the 2024 UPSC prelims has been over, we are making this particular video to show you how questions has been reflected from our daily newspaper analysis. See more than facts, the question was like using your common sense more. And another thing that we can see is that this year paper have one or two questions that are very default questions asked by UPSC in the previous years. And the question is like a compilation of past four years current affairs. So without much delay, let us see how many questions have been reflected from our daily newspaper analysis. You can see that in the index given here. So without much delay, let us get into the first question. Look at this question about scheduled tribes. We have covered it numerous times, but recently it was in news due to the Manipur violence. Here the first statement is incorrect. Actually, the president of India declares any community as a scheduled tribe. It is after having a consultation with the state governor, such an action is taken by president. We have discussed this in our 17th June 2024 newspaper analysis. So you can mark this as incorrect. Here the second statement says a community declared as a scheduled tribe in one state need not be considered as scheduled tribe in another state. This is obviously correct. You have to use your common sense. So here the correct answer for the question is option B2 only. Look at this question. See this year there were two questions related to UNESCO heritage list. This is one among them. They have asked which one of the following was the latest inclusion in the intangible cultural heritage list of UNESCO. See here you will straight away eliminate Kummela and Chow dance because it was added very before and here you will have only confusion between option P and C. Again if you had followed our Shankar's summary in our art and culture compilation we have talked about Garba dance. It is the latestly included dance in the UNESCO intangible cultural heritage list. Durga Puja was added on 2021. Even on 2021 we have covered the article. You can see that in the image given here. So if you had followed our Shankar summary, you could have easily cracked this question. Moving on, look at this question about World Heritage List. This is a very good example of how direct and straightforward current affair questions can be asked by UPSC. We have discussed these articles on 31st January 2024 discussion. You can see the slides. If you can see, we have talked about Shantini Ketan and sacred ensembles of the Hoysalas or the new edition in 2023. This means that other two, that is Raniki Wow and Mahabudhi Temple Complex at both Kaya, they were added in the previous year. So here the correct answer is option B, only two. Because the question is very specific, which properties were included in 2023, okay? So this is a straightforward question from current affairs. Look at this question about delimitation commission. This question is a very simple question which asks you how many times delimitation commission have been constituted by government of India. See if you look at our February 15, 2024, it is a very recent daily newspaper analysis. We have covered all the basics about delimitation commission and we also mentioned that there are four such commissions which includes 1952, 1962, 1972 and 2002. So it is very obvious question. If you had followed our daily newspaper analysis, you could have easily arrived at the answer. So the correct answer here is option D4. Look at this question about NBFC. Here if you look at the second statement, we have discussed it in our newspaper analysis on 17th April 2024. Just look at this slide. Here we have discussed that the RBI has given approval for FFI to buy government securities. We have also covered this in detail in our mains answer writing discussion. So from this we can say that the second statement is correct. But the first statement here is incorrect because liquidity adjustment facility is only for the banks. We have discussed it under the LAF topic on 31st January 2024. So if you know that second statement is right and the first statement is incorrect, you can directly arrive at the answer which is option D213 only. It has directly reflected from two different dates of current affairs that we have covered in our daily newspaper analysis. Now just moving on, look at this question about corporate bonds and government securities. If you have seen our 8th March 2024 newspaper analysis, we have spoken about G6. Here we studied in detail who are retail investors and how RBI is taking steps to expand their participation in the trading of government securities. This means that the third statement is correct. Now look at this statement. While studying about the NPS on 15th February 2024, we have discussed that pension funds will be invested in bonds, mutual funds and government securities. So this statement is actually correct. 
So if you know the first statement and second statement is correct, so with this basic understanding, you can eliminate option C, 1 and 3 only. In general, we know that insurance companies collect the money from diverse areas and invest in bonds and GSX. So with this understanding, we can arrive at the answer which is option D, 1, 2 and 3. We have covered in it our 8th March 2024 newspaper analysis as well as 15th February 2024 newspaper analysis. It is a very recent current affair. Now moving on, look at this question about CSR. Here two statements are given. Just by knowing the basic rules of CSR, you can directly arrive at the answer. We have covered it in detail on 7th October 2023. Just look at this slide. As per this, there is a fixed limit. That is 2% of their average annual profit over the last 3 years. So the second statement is incorrect. Since it is a two statement question, you have to know whether the first statement is correct or not. As per common sense, we know the expenditure that benefit the company or their employees cannot be included in the CSR spending, right? So here the correct answer is option A, one only. Look at this question. Actually, if you see this question, you will be thinking that this question is about USA. Actually, it is not. It is asking a basic question relevant to bonds. So if you know how bonds actually work, you can easily arrive at the answer. Again, we have covered this in our current affairs, especially in the Indian Express compilation. So if you can see in this image, we have said that the bond is an instrument used to borrow money from the market. It can be issued by both government or by any company to raise fund. Government bonds are generally backed by a sovereign guarantee of the government. So this means that the second statement is correct. We call government bonds as G6 in India. And just look at the first statement right. When government is giving a guarantee, it means that the holder of the bond can excise their claim to receive payment, even if the government is defaulting the bond. So if you know this particular logic, you can easily crack this question. As you can see, the correct answer here is option D. Statement 1 is incorrect, but statement 2 is correct. Look at this question about digital rupee. Here four statements are given and if you could eliminate statement 3, you can directly arrive at the answer. We have discussed about this topic a lot more time in our daily newspaper analysis. For example, in our Shankar's summary 2024, which is an initiative that compiles static plus current affairs topic in the past year. In that initiative, we have covered this question. In last year's summary, also we have covered this topic. If you can see in this question, here five statements are given. And in these five statements, second statement, third statement and fifth statement are almost equal to what the UPSC has asked. For example, in the second statement, it says on the balance sheet of the central bank, it is listed as a liability. UPSC also has the same. It appears as a liability on the RBI's balance sheet. Exactly the same statement, right? Now, if you look at the fifth statement, it says it is anticipated to reduce the price of issuing currency and the cost of transaction. UPSC has even asked similar statement that it is insured against inflation by its very design. Actually, here is where you have to pause a minute and think. Even though introducing a new mode of currency supply can affect the money supply in the economy, it does not mean that it is insured against inflation. It is just a currency. That's it but in the digital form. So if you could eliminate this third statement alone, you can directly arrive at the answer, which is option D, 1, 2, 1, 4, only. So even if you have not listened to a daily newspaper analysis, if you had followed our summary, which is a compilation of previous year's current affairs, you can easily any question. Moving on, look at this question. See, we all know that pears are legumes. We have discussed about leguminous plants on 29th January 2024, very recently. We have also discussed about oil seeds on 20th June 2021. You can have a look at the slide. We also know that the legumes are plants that produce fruits in the form of pods which contain seeds. These legume seeds are used to produce vegetable oils. So with this basic understanding, we can say that all the three comes under peas family. So the correct answer for this particular question is option C, all three. Look at this question about union budget. It is a very straightforward question. In fact, it is a AC question from the basics of polity. We have covered this article on 2nd February 2023. If you look at the first statement here, we have discussed that the president shall cause the annual financial statement to be laid before the parliament every year. This is according to article 112 and it is not the prime minister. Okay. So from this itself, you can eliminate option A, one only and you can eliminate option C, both one and two. So now you have 50 50 chance and we know that as per article 113 no demand for a grant shall be made except on the recommendation of the president 
So this statement is correct. So the correct answer for this particular question is option B two only. Now moving on, look at this question about countries and the reasons for being in the news. Here we have seen that Argentina was in news for its economic crisis. So the first pair is actually correct. Second pair is about Sudan, which we have been covered in our newspaper analysis, especially on second June twenty twenty three and fifth July twenty twenty three. If you see this slide. You can see that we have covered this article about Sudan. Now moving on, here the third pair is incorrect. We have never seen Turkey rescinding its membership from NATO. If you have seen our fifth June twenty twenty four and twenty second May twenty twenty three, we have covered regarding NATO membership of Turkey. So here only the first two pairs are correctly matched, and the third one is not. So the correct answer for this particular question is option B to only. So this question is like a combination of different current affairs facts. Now look at this question about CDS. It is a very important topic. Actually, we have covered this article in our target series video of 2023. It is actually a old current affairs that has been asked in the prelims right now. Now that CDS acts as the principal military advisor to the Union Defence Minister on all tri services matter. He also acts as a military advisor to the Nuclear Command Authority. Remember, CDS is the permanent chairman. of the chiefs of staff commission and he will perform certain functions like administrating the tri service organizations so if you had followed this you can straight away say that first and third statement is correct now you will be having the doubt with the second statement remember cds is vested with authority to provide directives to chiefs of three forces but he does not enjoy any command authority over the forces we have also discussed this fact in our video as you can see so this question is entirely reflected in our target series of 2023 it is a very obvious question now moving on look at this question about official languages mentioned in eighth schedule again if you have taken our 2023 target series we have a question regarding official languages see previously upsc has asked about classical languages so no wonder in reappearing of this topic in the prelims we had one in 2014 and again in 2015 so it is wise to be prepared for official languages also as of now 22 languages are included in the eighth schedule konkani manipuri and nepali were included in 1992 by 71st amendment act subsequently bodo dogri maithili and santali were added in 2004 we even have covered this fact in our target series in 2023 so the first three options are correct and the last one is incorrect and thereby you can arrive at the answer which is option a now moving on look at this question this is a moderate question about money bill in parliament here we can eliminate a second option easily with our basic understanding about money bill however we have covered this particular topic on 7th october 2023 you can look at the slide a money bill can only be introduced in lok sabha and not in council of states that is rajya sabha this is actually mentioned in article 109 so the first two statements are correct here rajya sabha can either approve or suggest changes but it cannot reject it so the third statement is also correct and lok sabha no need to accept the changes made by the rajya sabha so the fourth statement is actually incorrect so if you can eliminate any one statement you can directly arrive at the answer which is option c 1 2 1 3 only look at this question about right to privacy this is also a default question for upsc if you have seen our 14th september 2023 newspaper analysis you could have easily arrived at the answer which is option d article 21 Ganga tributary see this is a very basic question about ganga they have asked you to arrange from west to east see river systems are very very important every year there might be a question regarding indus river or ganga emuna or chambal and etc so we have covered this topic on may 22nd on 2023 as you can see in our video we have talked about the basics of ganges rivers and their tributaries the principal right bank tributaries of ganga include yamuna son and damodar and the important left bank bank tributaries of ganga include ram ganga gomati gagra gandak kosi and mahananda we have also used the map to show the tributaries here you can see the west to east tributaries very clearly so if you had seen this analysis you could have easily arrived at the answer the correct answer is option b look at this question about native to india here if you look at our 
third Feb 2023 newspaper analysis, we have said that cashews are introduced by Portuguese. So from this itself, you can directly arrive at the answer, which is option A only one. We have also covered about red sanders in our newspaper analysis a lot of time, and it is actually native to tropical forest to be specific. So only that is actually native to India. So the correct answer here is option A. Moving on, look at this question about EPA. This question might be a bit tricky, but we can use some logic and arrive at the answer. We know that coal power plants are the largest sources of sulfur dioxide, right? We have covered it in our third of December 2022. You can look at the slide given here. So with this, we can arrive at the answer, which is option D. Look at this question about total fertility rate. It is a very basic question. If you have seen in our 16th November 2022 daily newspaper analysis, we have covered this topic in extensive manner. Here, if you can see, we have discussed what is total fertility rate. It is nothing but the total number of children born or likely to be born to a woman in her lifetime. So, if you have seen in our daily newspaper analysis, you could arrive at the answer, which is option D. Now, look at this question about. Bill spending in the parliament. See, we have covered this in our first November 2022 newspaper analysis, and it is a 2016 previous question. So there is no surprise in in reappearing of this topic in the prelims. Displayed here are some of the conditions where a pending bill lapses or not. So from this we can say that the correct answer for the particular question is option B, one and two only. Moving on, look at this question about June twenty one every year. This is a very basic question taken from the NCERT. Despite that, we have covered it on twenty fifth April twenty twenty two while discussing zero shadow day. See, on June twenty first, the sunlight will be directly on Tropic of Cancer, and we also know that the sun on many countries in the Arctic Circle will never set for six months. This is due to the Earth's inclination. Towards the sun, you can refer the images given here. So the correct answer for this particular question is option D, two and four only. Look at this question about waterfalls. Here, look at the third bar. Here, Jersopa waterfalls is also known as Jog Falls. We have covered in detail about Jog Falls in our May fourth, twenty twenty two video. You can see that in the image given here. As you can see, it is located in. Western Ghats and it is on Saravati River. So if you could eliminate this option, you can arrive at the answer to the 50/50 chance. Kundra Waterfalls is located in Chotanagpur Plateau on Subarna Rekha River. So this is correctly matched. And the Daundar Falls is on Narmada River, but it is located in Amarkandak Plateau. So this pair is incorrectly matched. So if you know these facts, you can directly arrive at the answer, which is option A, one only. Look at this question. This is a very very basic question that is straight away taken from the NCERT. Here, if you see in this image on May second, twenty twenty two, we have discussed a preliminary question. In this question, we have discussed three types of mountains: fold mountain, block mountain, and volcanic mountain. Here, the Himalayan mountain and the Alps are young fold mountain with rugged relief and high conical peaks. Whereas the Appalachian in North America and Ural mountains in Russia have rounded features and low elevation. They are very old fold mountain. So from our discussion itself, you can answer two pairs: Alps and Appalachian, which are fold mountains. But Alps was paired as block mountain in the question, so this pair is incorrect. Appalachian was fold mountain as discussed in the video, so it is correctly matched. Then Andes is also a fold mountain, so it is correctly matched. Then the Vosges mountain, it is block mountain. It is located in France and not in Central Asia. So here only two pairs are correct, and other two pairs are wrong. If you could deduce it this way you can easily arrive at the answer which is option b moving on look at this question about venezuela we have covered this particular topic frequent times but this particular question is a reflection of our daily newspaper analysis on february 11 2022 we saw that there was a persisting economic crisis and its reasons were discussed if you can see in this slide we can decipher that the first statement given is incorrect Now coming to the second statement, we have covered this in our September eighth, twenty twenty one newspaper analysis. We have mentioned that Venezuela has largest proven oil reserve in the world. So this means that the first statement is incorrect and the second statement is correct. Now look at this question about Pradhan Mantri Shurakshit Matritva Abhiyan. We have covered this in our Feb eleven, twenty twenty two daily newspaper analysis. In that discussion, we have mentioned that the scheme is implemented by Union Health Ministry. 
The program aims to provide assured, comprehensive and quality antenatal care or care during pregnancy universal to all pregnant women in their second and third trimesters of pregnancy on the 9th of every month free of cost in this regard the program guarantees a minimum package of antenatal care a designated government health facility the package actually includes investigation and drugs and it would be provided at identified public health facilities urban health facilities in both urban and rural area in addition to the routine antenatal care but it does not explicitly include 6 months 6 months post delivery healthcare services this means that the first statement is incorrect with respect to the second statement we have mentioned in our news article discussion that it allows for a systematic approach for engagement with the private sector so the second statement is alone correct here the correct answer for this particular question is option b to only just look at this question this is a tough factual question from indian culture part it may be difficult to remember all the plays however we have discussed this particular play on 11th february 2022 in our daily newspaper analysis while discussing about kadakali you can see that in the image given here here we have mentioned that mattama vyayoham is a play written by sri harshan so here the correct answer for the question is option c now look at this question about writ of prohibition this is a very basic question from lakshmikant and it is a default question as well we have covered about them in 12th february 2022 Have a look at this slide. As we have discussed, the correct answer here is option C. That is the lower court prohibiting continuation of proceedings in a case. If you can see in this slide, we have mentioned that. Look at the science and tech question. This is also a evolving technology. We had covered it in detail on 12th January 2022. Have a look at this slide. If you can see, we have mentioned that a metaverse is a 3D virtual world linked to a virtual universe. So if you have seen our daily newspaper analysis you could have easily arrived at the answer which is option C metaverse Now look at this question about volcanoes actually this is a kind of previous a question repeated again but still we have covered this in our newspaper analysis on January 17 2022 See most of the questions in this year prelims is more of a static part and it is a evergreen topics as well So if you can see in this slide we have mentioned that sulfur compounds nitrogen compound ash and dust then pyroclastic debris all are product of volcano so if you are a regular watcher of our daily newspaper analysis you can arrive at this answer which is option d now moving on look at this question about operation taken by army again we have covered this question in our november 29 2021 daily newspaper analysis see most of the questions made news before 2023 the question nature itself is that way despite this fact we have covered this in our daily newspaper analysis if you can see we have covered operation sadbhavana in our video here sadbhavana means goodwill it is a unique humane initiative undertaken by indian army in the state of jammu and kashmir to address aspirations of people affected by scourge of terrorism sponsored and abetted by pakistan Remember it was launched in 1998 the focus of this particular operation is to improve the overall core social indices of education women and youth empowerment and healthcare with simultaneous trust on capacity building through implementation of community or infrastructure development projects so we have covered it the correct answer is option C now look at this question about north sea they are asking how many of the above countries have a border with the sea again this is a static part We have covered it in our September 13, 2021 newspaper analysis. We have covered about the boundaries of North Sea and Norwegian Sea. As you can see in this image displayed here, you can easily notice the bordering countries of North Sea. So here you can directly arrive at the answer which is option B. Only Germany and Norway have borders with the North Sea. Look at this question about Digital India Land Record Modernization Program. This is a very straightforward question. and we have covered this in our daily newspaper analysis on august 16 2021 you can see that in the slides given here so from this discussion we can clearly say that the first statement is incorrect and the other two statements are correct so the correct answer for this particular question is option b213 only we go look at this question about mitra shakti 2023 See Mitra Shakti exercise is a regular joint military exercise between India and Sri Lanka and it is not between India and Bangladesh we have discussed about this military exercise on 13th April 2021 you can have a look at the slide so if you could eliminate statement 1 you can directly arrive at the answer which is option D 2 3 and 4 this means that all other statements are correct 
can look at this question about parasitoid it is a very static topic we have covered it on 14th february 2020 in our daily newspaper analysis and it is a straightforward question here if you can see the centipede termite are not a parasitoid species see these parasitoids are small insects whose immature stages develop either within or attached to the outside of other insects these insects are referred as the host so these parasitoids they eventually kill the host they feed on as opposed to parasites like flies and ticks they typically feed upon host without killing them okay could you find the difference between the two so here centipede and termite does not belong to the category so the correct answer for the question is option b only three Moving on, look at this question about World Toilet Organization. If you have seen in our important current affairs topic about Shankar's summary in the miscellaneous topics, we have covered that World Toilet Organization is not a member of UN. So you can eliminate statement 1. So here you have 50-50 chances. It will be either 2 and 3 only or 3 only or 2 only. Actually, third statement is incorrect. India didn't receive any such fund if it is true so the correct answer for this particular question is option a to only this question is like reflection from our shankar summary now look at this question about speaker it actually talks about the removal of the speaker speaker was frequently in use due to the split and merger of the Sivasena party but they have asked about the removal of the speaker itself in the upsc prelims question here only the first statement is correct except that all other statement are incorrect he can speak but he could not preside and he is entitled to vote in the first instances itself so here the correct answer for the question is option a one one lee and we have covered it in our daily newspaper analysis look at this question about pm shram yogi madan here four statements are given and you have to find the correct answer see this is a government pension scheme launched in 2019 and we have covered it on may 12 2019 newspaper analysis so actually UPSC is going back on time in that newspaper analysis we have clearly seen that pradhan mantri shram yogi madan or in short called as pm sym was introduced to ensure old age pension for unorganized workers it is a central sector scheme and was announced by the union government in the 2019 budget here only those unorganized workers whose monthly income is 15,000 or less they are only eligible for this particular scheme further they should belong in the age group of 18 to 40 years and it is a minimum assured pension scheme where each subscriber under the PM SYM will receive minimum assured pension of 3000 per month after attaining the age of 60 years it is a voluntary and contributory pension scheme on 50 50 basis where prescribed age specific contributions shall be made by the beneficiaries and the matching contribution will be made by the central government this pm sym has a family pension concept which is during the receipt of pension if the subscriber dies the spouse of the beneficiary shall be entitled to receive 50 percentage of the pension received by the beneficiary as family pension and this family pension is applicable only to spouse so this means that the first statement is incorrect and second and third statement are correct so the correct answer for this particular question is option b213 only moving on look at this question about parliament of india see this is a very default question repeatedly appearing in the news if you can see in this image given here in 18th july 2022 newspaper analysis we have discussed about prorogation dissolution and also the powers of president so if you had followed our newspaper analysis you can directly arrive at the answer if you see here here the first statement is incorrect the prorogation of a house by the president of india is generally done on the advice of the council of ministers here the second statement is actually incorrect prorogation is generally done after the house is adjourned sendai but the president can prorogue the house even if it is in session now the third statement is also correct the dissolution of the Lok Sabha is done by the president usually on the advice of the council of ministers so here the correct answer for the question is option c 213 only so i hope from this video you could understand how the dynamics of upsc prelims has been changed from the past year and the current year nearly 38 questions has been reflected from our daily newspaper analysis and some of our initiatives like target series so follow our daily newspaper analysis share it with your friends to have an edge over preliminary examination 
not only for the prelims examination we have mains component also we will be discussing many mains questions in our daily newspaper analysis do follow that also and always remember consistency is the key this year's prelims question is a reflection of this quote so if you like the video hit like do comment and again don't forget to subscribe to shankar ias academy youtube channel click the bell icon so that you can get instant notification whenever we post a video stay tuned and thank you